the grassroots and the streets fighting for justice was the target audience for Ski G, your lead single that nobody cared about, probably because it was trash. This week on Hip Hop Stocks, where we use music that we love to explain the stock market. This week music is down on what could be a flash crash, which is good because last week we placed a put option or basically a bet that the stocks would fall. Hoped it wouldn't get this bad though. Of all the music to be released last week, only that Brent Fires feature and Drake seen positive gains. Besides that, it's been a bloodbath. And I know spelling got 10 out of 10 by needle drop, but I'm NASDAQ and he's the New York Stock Exchange. We are not the same. That is not my genre, but that is coming from a guy who gave Anderson Pack Ventura 7 out of 10. Spelling is talented, I mean very talented, but I'm mad enough to say that that isn't my genre because I don't claim to know everything about genres that I don't know about. Unlike that Jim Cramer guy over there. Logic's vaccine was a snooze fest. I'm just counting down to the moment that his fans declare that it was the best song to come out in a while, or have they finally gotten the point? See, the fundamentals of that stock are there, and it can see continued growth, but Logic isn't, nor will he ever be Amazon. And there's nothing wrong with being just a $20 stock. Some of the biggest businesses are $20 stocks. GE or General Electric, the people who make your refrigerator, they don't even cost $20. But Amazon costs three and a half bands each shift. Nas fans are now mad at me because I told them that life like a dice game didn't help that stock at all. But don't worry, Nas is an ETF. A bunch of different stocks all rolled into one. Where Nas music is struggling, Business Nas has been hitting its stride. This is a great example on why you need to diversify your portfolio because eventually every artist falls out the limelight. Michael Jackson's final albums didn't sell very well up until he died. But Nas's investments are keeping his stock platinum plated. So tonight, what do we got new? Some boss featuring J. Cole and Lil TJ, the Jackie, a new Vince Staples self-titled album, and uh Got a Post Malone new track called Motley Crue. Can't say that I'm excited, but I won't be buying a put for this week. It could literally go either way. But let's go ahead and look at some of the trending stocks for this week. Ice Cube is down because the stockholders got scared. Recently, Ice Cube's representatives announced that he demanded the rights to all of his movies to be released from Warner Brothers. We talking the Friday series, all about the Benjamins, to the Players Club. Some were classics. Others were meh, but respectable. So Ice Cube is claiming racism, which leads him to being underfunded in comparison to all white cast and white creative teams. And Ice Cube is right, but why did this stock fall? Instead of coming to his aid, either people don't know the news or they want to make jokes about the Wayans brothers how they lost Scary Movie. And this is no laughing matter as Ice Cube is one of the few in a position of entertainment that speaks up for us. If we as stockholders just stand and hold our ground with those who stand with us, then we win. That is what happened when GameStop went from $20 to $350 in 7 days. I can already hear you. How can we prove racism? Not every movie that he makes is worth a lot of money. Did you know that the Friday franchise has made over $121 million on a budget of $24.5 million? That's just under a 5 to 1 profit margin. As the budget for Friday after next was only $10 million and that made $59 million. That's almost 6 to 1 in profits. You probably still asking, where's all the racism? Have you heard of a movie called Fist Fight by Warner Brothers? If not, I don't blame you, but it's a comedy that was starring Ice Cube. They are selling this movie based on the perceived value of the star, Ice Cube. The budget should be the same, right? If the value of what Ice Cube brings you is $10 million for the trilogy of the title that made him a household name in this industry, then the movie can't be any hype. The budget for Fist Fight? 
22 to 25 million dollars and that only brought home 32 million so they barely broke a profit would you rather invest more money in something that has proven to give you five to one profit margin or put up more money on a risk of a movie that i forgot about shortly after it was released and don't even go into money was worth less in 2002 including inflation 10 million dollars is only 11.2 million dollars in 2017 the year that fist fight came out so how are we playing this stock fight for cube we need more ice cubes to tyler perry's to spike lee's and we need them to be bigger also ice cube we need you to be more than a director and put on directors and writers who need opportunities buy this and let's make this into a momentum stock jed is down for being the same as Bobby Sessions. So recently, Jed showed his disdain for people celebrating Cosby's release. Now, regardless of how you feel about it, let's look at this logically. The same people cheering for Cosby's release are the same people that you are making music for. The grassroots in the streets fighting for justice was the target audience for Ski G, your lead single that nobody cared about, probably because it was trash but that's another video. The only way you can be this off is if you aren't actually woke. Instead, you probably voted for Biden. Yep, you sure did. How has your Biden support been going? Do you like marching in the streets when Asians got the anti-hate bills overnight? All you've gotten, my brother, is Juneteenth. Something for everybody that Trump said he would even do. I thought everything would change. Did you even follow the trap? How they broke the constitution, how they kept a racist jury member, how they had no evidence, how all the plaintiffs were represented by one farm, how many of them got caught lying because the dates didn't add up, and no, I don't even like Cosby. I hope you pulled your pants up while you was in jail there, Bill. But these types of comments are too close to what an industry plant would say. There are reasons behind why artists are allowed to sign to record deals, and when a person isn't self-made, odds are that they don't side with all people on all issues. I hope this is just youth and inexperience from this stock, but we've been here too many times. Talented acts like Doja Cat who go on tiny chat to strip for white supremacists and make songs for them? Wait a minute, what do we have here? So proud of you, homie? The homie? You mean alt right affiliated is the homie? This is clearly not part of the job of promoting. This is you showing love. Are you telling me there's any way that he didn't at least hear about Doja Cat's antics? The homie who got dragged on Twitter for the world to see. Maybe he isn't active on Twitter. You know most people like to focus on just one social media and Jid could just be IG. Well, well, well. He definitely knows and he doesn't care. Probably so he could smash, but did you actually listen to the album lyrics about how black men ain't ish? You don't think she's talking about you now, do you? And this is the next generation of woke artists that the mainstream media is bringing us. I expect this from the likes of, say, 50 Cent, but I expect it better from you, Jed. And Little Uzi is down for being a simp, but that's about it. So word has it that Little Uzi pulled up on his ex while she was out with a lesser rapper, St. John. Keep in mind, this was reported by TMZ, so believe none of what you heard, half of what you see. So they're saying that Lil Uzi threw a punch and missed, and as he missed, the gun fell to the ground. At that moment, his ex, Brittany Bard, approached him, and little Uzi pushed the gun into her stomach, hard enough that she had to go to the hospital, saying that she plans to make a police report. Really? Why would he threaten you with the gun, and then put it into your stomach? Wait a minute, the story has changed. So he hopped out the Cadillac, and flashed the gun, that made the people run, which is why there was no footage here, I guess. Hold up. One more change. In this story, Uzi struck Britney and then pointed the gun at her stomach. In LA, Hollywood of all places. And you telling me there's no footage. In LA, if you run a red light, they send you a ticket in the mail because you were caught on film. You telling me that 
one of the most popular rappers right now could get into a scuffle in Hollywood involving a gun and nobody caught this on the phone. Then she got the nerve to ask the public, don't y'all protect black women, right? Yes, we protect black women, but not finessers who can't get their story right. And let's be real, you clearly are down for the cause. While all the protests have been going on, all I see from your multiple platforms is flexing. I don't like little Uzi and he definitely comes off as a simp here who handles a breakup like a guy who wears dresses all of the time. But these are some allegations that you need proof of since your story keeps changing. Just because we protect and love black women don't mean that we are stupid. Believe me. I would cherish the opportunity to drag little Uzi. He has it coming to him if you can provide the proper details, like how Mag showed the bullet wounds, how she has not wavered or changed her story, then I would happily disown one of my favorite rappers of time past, Tory Lanez, but even as I never had respect for Uzi or his music, I'm not going to do that without proof. 